Let me tell you how people play their self every time. They start habits and patterns with people that they cannot keep up with on a consistent basis and it ends up blowing up in their face. Let me explain. You know when you go to a job interview, you're really excited at the potential of starting this new job and changing your whole life, right? So you're gonna go in there with the best intentions, the great Kodak smile. Um, Kodak. Yeah, Kodak, Colgate smile. Trust and believe these people are gonna be on their best behavior for the first six weeks to six months. They're gonna be on time. They're always gonna be available for you. They're gonna go above and beyond. They're gonna do all of this extra stuff just to impress you because they wanna secure the position. Cause no matter what, it don't matter what position you're going into, there's always a probation period, right? But you already know, once the probation period is up, motherfuckers gonna start showing their ass and you gonna see the real motherfucker that they are inside. Do not start habits, do not start behaviors, do not start day-to-day -day operations that six months down the line, a year down the line, two years down the line, you're going to be tired of being this fake person that you perceived yourself to be just to get yourself in positioning, and you're going to start showing your ass because everything that is given to you can be taken away like that. Because there are people out here that ain't faking it. They really can do that job. They really can wake up every day, show up on time, and, you know, bust these moves every day without even a thought it's not fake it's not rehearsed it's not scheduled like that is who the fuck they are so the fake always show they self snakes always peek their head up around tall grass that's why you always keep it low cut because when you have overgrown grass and people think that they can hide up under that shit when you keep it low cut you can't hide from me bitch when the grass is cut low, it's hard to hide the fact that you don't be showing up on time because everybody can see you. When the grass is cut low, it's hard to hide that you ain't as smart as you are because everybody can see that you dumb and that you don't fit in to this organization. When the grass is cut low, you can really tell who is really passionate and who is really in it to win it versus who is in it for the benefits or just for the title because a lot of people, they just want the title. They really don't want to do the work for the title. So for all of the people that don't want to do the work for the title and they did just good enough work to get their foot in the door but they could not keep up with the momentum, y'all niggas getting called out. Y'all getting called out. Because you're fake. You're fraudulent. You're phony. Like, you a nice shiny apple with a rotten inside. Have you ever had an apple? You got the biggest apple too and as soon as you bit it, it's all brown on the inside. That's you. No matter how long you get away with putting on this facade, when people see who you really are, you're going to be discarded uh, very quickly. And when you notice that people, when they get invited to certain situations and groups and opportunities, but they never stay that long and never last longer than a year. Like, that's just like when you're looking at job applications and stuff. When you're looking at somebody's resume and every year they had a different location, they they were never able to stick any place. Like, nobody wanted them that long. Like, you've never had a place of employment or people that fucked with you for anything longer than a year. And then the people that do fuck with you, they're so low-hanging fruit. <laughs> no one would want to hang. Like, they're low-hanging fruit. They're opportunities that nobody would take. I mean, absolutely nobody would take. So just word to the wise, y'all. Um, especially in work environment. Do not put on a facade if you are not able to uphold. Because you will have upheaval. If you cannot uphold the requirements for that position, if you come in and you put a smiley face on for the first two, three weeks, and then after that, you really start to show people who the fuck you really are, guess what? You're not doing nothing but hurting yourself because if you're dealing with someone like me, I'm going to get you the fuck up out of here. It don't matter what situation it is, if it's a work situation, if it's a friend situation, if it's a relationship situation, people always put on their representative when they first come in contact with you they always show you what you want to see not who they really are you understand but who you really are will always shine brighter than the facade that you put on in the first place because once i see you for who you are baby that's all i ever see and once i see that 
you came in here putting on that facade, putting on that mask, putting on your representative. But two, three weeks later, I get to see that you lazy. I get to see that you bummy. I get to see that you don't have no motivation, no drive. Like your intentions ain't even pure. Like you really just want the title. You don't want to put the work in. And just like all of these negative attributes. You want to deal with your own people because you really didn't want to play the part. You wanted the benefits from the part, but you didn't want to play the part. There's too many people out here that is not only willing to play the part, begging to play the part. They would love that paycheck. They would love that title. They would love the accolades that you're receiving for no reason. So again, if you applied, remember that? A video I did with my cousin a while ago talking about let me check your application yeah look at the position that you apply for you know what you apply for if you know six seven months down the line that this position may be annoying to you or that you're going to wake up regretting that you work here and you don't have any drive for what it is that you do then maybe you might need to find something else because I'm going to tell you what if you put all your ducks in that basket, and that's the only basket that you have, mind you, and then you come in here bullshitting, and you don't even appreciate that you have a basket to put shit in, all them ducks is going to be hard as fuck to carry by hand. So y'all be careful. You understand what I'm saying? Be aware, be attentive, be present in all of your blessings. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going to have their moments where they... Um, fall short from time to time but don't put your foot in the door if you ain't willing to walk all the way through you understand what i'm saying because you are taking up space for somebody that really wants that position someone that can really thrive and you playing around only to get tossed out in the street anyway because we don't want you i'm sorry we don't want you <laughs> as soon as we see who you really are because everyone that's in the game, no a motherfucker gonna show their representatives when you first meet them, right? We already prepared for you. We already hip to the game. You understand what I'm saying? So, like they say, snakes always peek their head out of tall grasses. You understand what I'm saying? Keep your grass cut low. That way, when they even slithering in your vicinity, baby, you can see that grass shaking, baby. You know, bow. Get them out of here.